To extra depth and perspective, Santa Teresa is home to one of the best kept secrets in the nation. It has the largest binational livestock port of entry with tens of thousands of heads of cattle crossing into the U.S. every week. While you may not be a rancher looking to own one, cattle coming from that port of entry either turns up at your local steakhouse or your dinner table. Good morning, El Paso anchor Soul Signs found this hidden gem and brings us a story you'll see only on ABC7. You're watching what very few people have ever witnessed, prime beef cattle entering the U.S. from Mexico. This border barrier has a special gate exclusively for livestock coming from our neighbors to the south. This crossing point is the biggest crossing point of all the Americas, and it's the biggest one between Mexico and the United States, obviously, as well. Both the Mexican and American side of this livestock ranch is owned by what's called the Union Ganadera de Chihuahua, or the Chihuahua Livestock Union. And according to Teto Medina Wallace, billions of dollars move through this gate and wind up on dinner plates across the U.S. Take three now, four, and has got a bit of four now, five, and a bit of five. Santa Teresa is also home to one of the most lucrative livestock auctions with millions of dollars exchanging hands every week. So the cattle 136 to the border. Wallace is the auctioneer. Are you talking about a million dollars every Friday? Every Friday, yes, sir. It all begins in stalls like this one. This is what costs more, this is what tastes best, all that this stuff. This is it right here. As many as 10,000 head of cattle are held on both sides of the border on any given day and only prime beef is auctioned here those are some some beautiful quality cattle right here right here oh man prices of cattle vary depending on many factors size weight gender and genetics i have to know what they're worth so that i know where to start the bidding one thing that i've learned is that the pricing of cattle can be subjective an auctioneer can take a look at one cow and know the difference between the other and price it accordingly. Good, good looking heifers here. It's called price discovery, and the cost can range from $700 to $1,400 a head. Price discovery means that if you come from your ranch and you have no idea what cattle are worth, you will know in a live market, once you see the quality and the condition and uh, their weight, you'll know exactly what cattle are worth here today. And the work is hard. Cattle have to be herded from one point to another continuously. Here we go. Come on. I tried my hand at it. Come on, ladies. Nope, not towards me. That way. Here we go. But I think I'll keep my morning move gig. Come on, move it on out. Let's go. Keeping livestock alive for auction is a task as well, given the harsh desert elements. Too cold, and they go into shock and die. Too hot. Temperatures can easily rise up to 110, 112 and uh, the cattle will get heat stroke. You may recall the price of many goods soared right after the pandemic due to the supply chain disruptions. Not this industry. Did you all have to go through that? We did not have to go through that. The actual movement of cattle never stopped. And may never stop if the flow of cattle keeps moving through the Rio Grande. Food for thought, a thought from food. From Santa Teresa, New Mexico, Saul Signs, ABC7. <laughs> Sounds a little intimidating there, it looks like, and it keeps on moving. Yeah, it's not just beef, though. The livestock is sold for several products, such as leather and oil from the cow for soap, is also sold to other industries. Sell said he would keep his job, his day job there, Stephanie, but I don't know. I thought the way he moved the cattle along, he might have a future. I think so. They listened to him, definitely. <laughs>